Brand new core of slime has started. And what are we doing? We are yapping, yapping, yapping. But have you noticed that the yapping scenes are actually more engaging, not just because of the content they're talking about, but the way that they're handling the yapping. I've noticed that as soon as we're talking about stuff, the moment that we start visualizing for a Colosseum, for example, suddenly the visuals like give you this Colosseum being upgrounded. It's like, whoa, you can see everything. Everything that we talk about, we can kind of already see, which is like a really cool way of doing these yapping to keep it more dynamic and have the ADHD people kind of, you know, engage. You know what I think this is? Because Mahok is done in 8-Bit Studios. So like, all right, we're done with this other shit ass shit. We're gonna fucking go all in on slime. Rest in peace, Mahoka. Mahoka has ended in season one in my head forever. Season two and season three never happened, and it's gonna be a happy memory forever. Now we're setting up for this new festival, tournament, Budokai gonna is gonna happen. We're getting people trained up on how to handle food. Invitations are getting sent out. Let's begin today's reaction. Dwarf King, Gaza! Who is this witch? Well, come see for yourself then. Ooh, it's the same elf assassin that like had no payoff in season one. Remember season one? Gazelle sent her to keep a look on Rimuru. But like, we didn't see anything after that, right? Was there anything after? Because I remember Gazelle selling, sending her and then it was, we didn't see anything after that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luminous, we're friends. Henrietta. This is Henrietta. <laughs> there's, a, there's a chance. There's a chance that we got stronger. Lady, where have you been for the last three seasons? I'd say Dream when it was already strong immediately in season one. She has not been keeping up, bro. <laughs> He's a benevolent person. And that's right, we're friends. Henrietta is the elf then? There's a letter of invitation for us. Go over, enjoy the tournament, enjoy the festival. The greatest party of all time. Invitations for all nations, let's go. Yeah. That's right, we're trying to make it like a main tourist occasion too. It's so simple. You want to give people a reason to come back over and again? Casino! Elf made booba! A casino where all the workers are elf maids, bro! It's so simple! You get the coomer bait to get people in, and then you have the gambling addiction to keep them coming back! It's that simple! Gamba! Ramirez versus... New God. こいつはゴブキュー。ゴブキュー。ルドの弟子で凄腕の。I immediate switch up, bro. Do you hear the That was on Kushi that level of just going, you know, immediately mask off, mask on. Oh, nice one. What's a little pixie gonna do? But then again, she is a demon lord. ベルタがうわ。いやいやいや、ほれ、あげきだった。うん。では、あなたのハウス。あなたのハウスフォーラミディス。これはですね、違うのです。ラミリスさんの言うように悪いことを。これはですね、違うのです。ラミリスさんの
She's always so smug and kind of funny and just like turning a blind eye and just like not doing any work and always going off to do other shit, leaving her sister to do something. So now we're trying to fucking smuggle in Ramirez. <laughs> Berata's the only straight man here trying to figure shit out. This is a little pixie house for Ramirez. Why can't they stay here? Come on! だがま、事情は分かったよ。ゴブキュ、大変だったな。警備隊の方たちが迷惑を。おい。ラミルス、どうだ、それ。ちょっと。トレイニーでる。小屋を立てようとして、警備員に止められたと。And it's a cute little pixie house. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like, like that, this is straight up like a house. Like you open the door, it's still a labyrinth. That, that, that's what this is? I thought this is supposed to be like a little dog house for Ramirez, but it's like a pixie house, but okay. All right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Wizards, uh, Eden, Eden's mom, dad, they're, they're elves, right? They are elves, right? They're all elves. Mother and fa- oh. Oh. Your majesty. So this is Eden's dad, but this is not Eden's mom? Is it? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Emperor of the Sorceress, El Mesia, El Ru Tarion. <laughs> this is when he went to Tempest for meetings and stuff, right? He wants to show up. Yeah, this is the long ass, you know, meeting episode in season two. Please. He's very open minded, huh? Family member, relative. So basically, he stole her. Virginity. Hulk, let me cook! Let me cook! He stole her virginity of meeting Rimuru first. That's what's going on. Uh, 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 she probably steps on him. He probably enjoys it. Damn. Okay, so it's like the Empress is. She's nice. Hmm. Yoshidashi no mise kara toriyosete iru sweets. She likes sweets. Oh, wait till she tries some of that mochi snacks, bro. Wait till she tries the Japanese snacks that we have. It's gonna just blow her mind. Yoshidashi. Wait a minute, isn't that the guy that we post last episode? Yeah, Yoshida, I was like, hold up, Yoshida is a Japanese name. It's the Baldi we recruited. Oh, even more of a reason for her to show up here now. それが一体。作詞と名高い<笑> I want some sweets too. Us. Delicious cake. I wanted that cake too. Cake. It's, it's 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 less about mental damage from missing the snacks for like you know his 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 fucking daughter Edda not bringing the cakes right. Okay. And now he's in poached. That's crazy. She had those kind of dealings. Like, now I understand why he was a little bit hesitant. Well, wait a minute. Last episode. Who came with us? 
who came with us uh, last episode because he folded immediately. Was it Shuna? Was it Shuna that he saw? And then he's like, oh my god, I'm fucking it. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. So, okay, okay. Sh Shuna's fan service basically was better than this deal from, you know, the Empress. <laughs> this is her biggest concern in her world. Dude, the Tarion people... <laughs> All they do is just fuck around. Like, her biggest concern right now is securing the sweets of Mr. Yoshida, bro. They must just live in such bliss out here in the trees. Better go to Tempest and find some. Yeah, now, you know, maybe Eren would bring some sweets for you. Tea parties. I want to be at the tea party, man. Such as? Yoshida is a tempest. Yeah. Ate snacks, we just chilled, right? This is before Yoshida was here, though. Oh. Oh, it was Yoshida's recipe. He has no clue what's going on. She is really weaponizing, you know, the daughter con stuff. Yes, we're coming. Yes, we're coming. Yukisaki wa mamono no kushikamae te iru mono tachi ni watashi wo shikyak sase ru koujitsu wo atae ru koto ni nari kane nai. Sore to korare nai tomo kagira nai. You really think someone would assassinate her at the festival? Well, maybe I'm taking because like I'm going in with the intention that it's gonna be a fun ass party. But I guess to everyone else, like these dangers definitely do exist. Wonder how strong she really is in power scaling. I mean, she's kind of talking big right now. I hope she's super strong. Alright. That's the Tarion stuff. Next nation. Yeah, we're taxing that shit. You better pay up to use our roads. She knows that initial capital to build a bridge means nothing compared to the centuries of tax and toll fees that will be charging on that road. Honestly, no one could think properly if they're just looking at you, Empress. I mean, Edel probably just looks at her and just goes, <laughs> Well, then again, they're relatives, so he shouldn't be like that. Yeah. Especially because they're elves, too. It should be long term thinking. And yet he still accepted the deal. Rimuru still comes out on top long term. And now all that's really left of this map, right? Left, up, and down, we're all good, right? Left, up, and down, like this is this green part, church, up part, Dorgo, Tempest, medium stuff. And now this part, the east, that's the side that we gotta really worry about, right? East and beyond, how do we, you know, secure that? That's, that's for later game content, though. <laughs> That's not pretty good. 80 points out of 100 is pretty good. Yeah, then we could like lower the percentage rates of whatever the fees that were. That's, yeah, yeah. Smart. And he's just fucking taking L's everywhere, bro. Are you sure he's a strategist? Like, damn, he's just been tripping, just tripping, just... I like the way she twirls, twirls her hair. I, I don't know. When she, when she does this with her fingers, 
I don't know what I'm ima imagining. But there's something about her twirling her fingers like this. That I'm just like... Oh. <laughs> Focus! And the モトイセカイジンだったというのは疑いの余地もその知識と経験を採用というのを差し引いても、とんでもない存在よね。しまいびワンオブザスマートストビングズエバー。ジョー、ヒナタ。グリムル。西側諸国では権力者だけれど、ア
迷宮内に移す前に前物体とかなら許可なく何でも移せちゃうよマジかよじゃあさ地で迷宮内に移せるってことかそうだよそのとおりすごいな I mean I would at least expect that much from one of the strongest beings in this universe right? 皆無だと思って And that's the thing I was convinced you had no useful skills at all I bet a lot of people that watch this show has no clue how strong Ramiri is because they don't give her an opportunity To like flex. If there was one moment where Remedis shows some power that rivals Millim or Gee Crimson, bro, then people will respect her. But everyone thinks that she's a useless pixie because there has been a moment for her to pop off. No one will take her seriously until we see it, you know? Subarashi! Subarashi! So right now we're sending out invitations to everyone and Gazel and his buddies. I don't know who these people are. Vaughn, Granny, you know, they're kind of like wary. They're like, yo, Rimuru is a threat. You got to do something about this Gazel. And Gazel's like, Granny, you got no fucking clue. I'm sure she's going to get filled in very soon. There's some stuff going on here with, you know, Raminus and training, which is basically um, another ways of making money by using the labyrinth to almost like create like an arena, right? We're, so we want to use an arena to bring adventurers in, put monsters in there, sell potions, sell bars. It's just like a tourist attraction. And Raminus now has a job. And then other stuff with like the elf kingdom. We get to see the Empress finally. Oh my god, she is an absolute beauty. And she got a sweet tooth. And he's also very smart. It makes me wonder, motherfucker, you're supposed to be a strategist. How do you not know anything that's going on? He's been getting duped left and right by even the idiot trio by not, not snitching on, you know, whether or not Eren's coming home. But hey, I'm sure they're going to have a good moment in the future. So this episode, just basically setting up other people being more aware of, you know, Rimuru's place and wanting to go in. And goddamn, I cannot wait for this festival to start. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.